Zarike. Good morning, everybody. Happy sunshiny day to you. I get sunshine from this angle in the kitchen. <laughs> Today, I'm going to bring you along for a quote unquote, what I eat in a day video, but it's kind of going to be all encompassing because I've been getting so many requests from you guys asking for me to show you what's in my meal prep, what's in our grocery store things, the details of the meal plan of the program. Also, I'm so sorry. Again, disclaimer, if you hear any construction noise in the background, it's because the backyard is under construction. The guys are out there hard at work. So forgive me if you can hear any of that in the back, but yeah. So today is the start of the week. We actually had a very late start this morning. We've been having late nights, later mornings, not my ideal routine situation, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna head to the grocery store today and show you all the things that we pack up, give you a brief little overview of my meal plan and show you what to eat in a day. So this morning to start, I am having a black coffee. I know, blasphemous, but um, it's true. Sorry, technically I actually just lied to you. I don't start with coffee. I drink water first thing. Make sure to hydrate, get some fluids in the body, the good stuff. This is my giant blender bottle hydration series. It's massive. It's one of the few things in my life that's actually bigger than my head. And I generally drink about two of these a day. I think it's 2.2 liters, 2.2 liters, two of these a day. That might be like too much water, but I'm a thirsty gal, so. Now, even though it is summer and I've been on my cold brew train in the mornings, I kind of like to start with a warm cup of coffee. It just feels like it soothes my soul a little bit more. So I have my cute little A mug. I've had this for years, years, years. I think I bought this in like 2017 from Anthropology. I always get questions on it. Anytime I show it, people are always like, oh my God, where's your A mug from? Anthropology. I don't know if anyone cares, but we keep our Nespresso pods in these cute little things here. My favorite one is Solelio. It's the lightest. I just find that they're too bitter otherwise. So here's my little coffee. Now I can't claim to enjoy a black coffee. I really don't. I, for so long, I was drinking my protein coffees and this was like before I did my diet meal plan with the trainer. And I just didn't realize like how many calories I was actually consuming when I'm crushing like three or four protein coffees a day. And if you didn't know, my protein coffee recipe was like my cup of coffee and I'd blend in an entire scoop of protein, which I still do. We'll get to that later. Yeah, I kind of just needed to tone it down because um, that's a lot. I was eating like multiple meals worth of calories in my protein coffee on top of my meals. So I do start with a black coffee. I don't really enjoy it so much without a little bit of Splenda, okay? I bought this monk fruit Splenda and I've really been enjoying it. I, I've just newly discovered Splenda and I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. Uh, they also have Splenda icing sugar, which is positively delicious. And I just mix a little bit of that in and you know, this is the coffee to start the day. It might be too hot to take the first sip just yet, but let's talk about the greens because I usually would do a little like creatine and athletic greens or some greens powder supplement in the morning. I'm not doing it right now. Um, again, <laughs> now I, I do want to speak about this openly, you guys. So I just understand that I am doing a program. The last couple, like I want to say weeks, but it's actually been months that I've kind of been, you know, we've been traveling a lot. I've not been following my meal plan and we are now eight weeks out to the wedding. And so right now it's kind of crunch time. So I am tracking my food. I am counting my calories and it is overseen by my trainer. So just in this time, like when I am so specific about what I'm eating and I need to be tracking it very closely, the athletic greens are 50 calories and that's just 50 calories that I'd rather eat elsewhere, like in berries or something. So currently I'm foregoing um, my greens and I'm just having my coffee and that's that. <laughs> but otherwise I do love my greens. I do feel like it makes me feel good. But right now I'm just uh, skipping it and going with the good old coffee. Now on that same vein, um, when you are following a meal plan, it can be very, very hard when you are a I'm an avid snacker. I love to snack and I just, I really enjoy food. I, I live life through the enjoyment of food. That's just something I've always done. So it is very hard for me to do something like this, but I always feel so amazing after I, you know, I struggle with a lot of bloating. I struggle with my digestion. And when I do these few weeks of following a strict meal plan, the positives that come from it so, so far outweigh any of the like social restrictions that it can bring. I do carry around 
my meal prep. I have no problem with that. And it's definitely a lot easier when I'm not traveling, although it has been done. I did a lot of travel back in November and December and I was able to stick to it, but it just makes it a lot more difficult. But anyway, while I'm doing this and you know, my calories are restricted to my specific meals, it's just so much easier to follow it when I'm eating later in the day. So I don't like claim to follow anything. I'm not being like intermittent fasting, whatever. But I basically just in the morning, I wait as long as I can to eat my breakfast to break my fast. And that just makes the rest of the day easier. So that's why I start out with a black coffee because it just, uh, it just helps with that appetite suppressing in the morning. It's something to sip on. It's warm, it's filling my belly, it feels good. You get your nice little coffee poop after. And then I will wait as long as I can to have my breakfast. And obviously that's also easier on a day like today where I have slept in and I am doing my workout in the evening, so. That's the morning. All right, guys, I am done my coffee. It's time to go to Costco. We're going to Costco to do our little weekly roundup. Honestly, we eat a lot of frozen things, so usually we're okay, but we love to stock up on our fresh stuff. We write a list. Don't go grocery shopping without a list. I am a repeat offender of buying things that we already have that I forget that we already have. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're getting the things that we need. Let's go to Costco. This is my favorite time of the week. Our weekly Costco shop, we get steps in. We get to see all that's new. <sighs> this bag of frozen vegetables has changed our life. This is the fire roasted vegetable primavera. It's all the vegetables that I would have made anyway, but this is new. This is new and it has been so good. I literally eat it with every single meal. Ron, don't walk if you love a good zucchini mix. One of my most favorite things to eat, it never misses, shrimp, shrimp. I could go through so many bags of these in a week, truly. It's one of my favorite things to eat. You get to eat like more of it, like higher volume in your meals. And it just tastes good with absolutely everything. I love shrimp. Dan's more of a chicken guy. He's slowly crawling over to the shrimp world, but mm, so good. I'm gonna do that lots today, I feel. Boy. Never enough egg whites. Okay guys, listen, the Costco's super busy. <laughs> We're gonna grab the rest of our things and I'll show you the overhaul of the haul when we get home. We are home and I needed to make breakfast immediately. I just unloaded all the groceries. I'll show you guys my general like meal prep and whatnot after, but breakfast, we take very seriously in this household. I've got my little oatmeal with berries. I dribble a little bit of peanut butter in there. It is so good. And then an egg white omelet. Egg whites, a little bit of turkey slices and Valentina hot sauce in here. That's it, my guys, my people. Obviously all my meals are subject to change every day, but this has been the go-to every day. It's so good and worth the wait, my good friends. I'm gonna sit and enjoy my breakfast and hop on some emails and then I'll join you later for lunch when I start my meal prep. Happy lunch time. The meal prep has been in full swing. I don't have any recipes to offer you really, but I can show you what I meal prep in general. And generally speaking, the premise is to just have everything cooked beforehand in terms of my proteins and rice. So what I have made already, we've got a big bin of ground turkey. All I do is put taco seasoning on it and I put it in a big Tupperware so that Dan and I can eat it as we go. I just cook it all up here in a big pan, a big wok, ground turkey on lock. Then in the fridge, I've got a big tub of rice. I just pre-make this so we can scoop it out as we go. I've also got shrimp. I just put Cajun seasoning on the shrimp and then I make a mango salsa, mango pico de gallo, whatever you want to call it. But I put mangoes, bell peppers, onions, cilantro, lime juice, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. Sometimes I just don't use tomatoes because I don't love tomatoes, if I'm honest. <laughs> Next up, I need to make the chicken. I think I'm gonna do shredded chicken. Literally, all I do is just cook the chicken breasts and then I shred it in the KitchenAid. We've got turkey breasts for wraps and the little egg whites. And then this is Dan's favorite. These are like the chicken bites that you buy at Costco. That's, uh, that's his thing. We've got hummus, berries, cherries, eggs, tzatziki. Oh my God, I put it on everything. And egg whites kimchi, Fairlight, cold brew, energy drinks. And then we have various sugar-free sauces. Seal Sama, you'll be seeing that later. This teriyaki sauce is so good. And then in the freezer, we keep the vegetables so we can just make them as we go. And I also have the extra shrimp because we go through the shrimp really quickly. Now that's pretty much everything that we buy from Costco and I meal prep. It's really just the meats that I 
prep and have ready to grab throughout the week. But let me show you a few things that I get elsewhere that I love to have for meal prep and just snacks in general. Tuna, tuna. Do not sleep on your tuna. <laughs> I love to keep a couple brands of cognac noodles just to add extra volume if I'm feeling extra hungry and need for pasta. I don't like to eat these all the time because they do kind of make you a little bit bloated, but love to have those on hand. These ones are my obsession right now. Okay, I've gone through my phase with these, which I still love but this is a recent obsession. As you can see, I have ordered four because Dan and I eat this every single day. I ordered them on Amazon. They're so good. I just love the texture, the consistency of the noodle. They're perfect. I will be making those for dinner. I'll show you guys that later. Here's the rice that we use from Costco. We've got the peanut butter, more of the seal sama teriyaki, which we love so much. Then this section's kind of my heaven. <laughs> Anna bars, oh my God. Okay, I was having such a moment with the grenade bars, but they definitely have that like fake taste. I like that they are pretty much sugar free, which is nice. These ones have sugar, but oh my God, you guys, this is the most delicious tasting thing on the planet. If you're looking for a succulent <laughs> protein bar to add to your meals. Oh my God, it's so good. And we keep them here literally like a store. Like this is our snack fave at the moment. I were just, yeah, we're obsessed with it. That's pretty much it in terms of what we've been eating. Um, really like when I find a meal that I like, I hyper fixate on it. And I will make the same thing for like six months, a year straight. Like if you guys remember, there was a time where I was just obsessed with making my salmon bowls. Went through such a phase. I'm pretty sure that phase lasted like two years, but right now I'm gonna show you the two meals that I'm hyper fixating on. And I've been eating literally since November, pretty much with the exception of the new noodles. But let me show you my lunch. This is what I mean when I say hyper fixating on it. These are literally the only three meals that I've been eating every single day. I've got my oatmeal, the shrimp noodle stir fry, and the turkey bowl that I'm about to make. I literally keep it plugged in and this is what I eat every day. And here is my succulent turkey bowl. We've got the wild rice on the bottom, turkey, sauerkraut, the vegetables and tzatziki. I'm obsessed with it and I have been eating it for months and months and months and months straight with different, different vegetable variables, but the bowl itself remains the same. It's so good. Protein coffee time. I know I'm in the same thing. We've just been bustling around doing admin. Actually, Dan's sister, Lara, is here helping us. Bless her heart. She has been on the Depop train. If you didn't know, you can shop my closet on Depop. So switching up a little bit. This isn't my usual. I will either like go for a snack at this point or have protein or both honestly it just depends but I actually have to exit the house so I'm gonna take my little travel cup I take a scoop of my protein I've literally been eating the same protein for years now it is the my protein whey isolate in the sh I was about to say in the shade oh my god in the flavor chocolate smooth that's my favorite one I'm also gonna put my creatine in here just to get it out of the way not the normal mix up but you know I've got my unsweetened almond milk and my Kirkland cold brew. I'm gonna take a little bit of milk just to start and then a little bit of the coffee just so I can froth up the protein. So I just do a little bit, take my little frother and I froth that up. And it's basically like having a protein shake really. And yeah, I used to have this for like every single one of my coffees multiple times a day, but instead I now have it as my second coffee and it's delicious. And I love having my iced coffee when the summertime rolls around. So I froth that up, then I add the rest of the can. I just find that that helps prevent like clumping in the protein powder, just to whip up a little bit at a time. And then in here I add my ice. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Good evening, everyone. If you can see any of the mess in the back, no, you can't. I just got back from a hot yoga class this evening. I am positively melting and I am ready for dinner, making my, as I promised, my little shrimp noodle teriyaki stir fry, delicious. I've got the same veggies frying on the pan the noodles are going. I've got my prepped shrimp and this is the star of the show. Again, I already mentioned it, but this is the seal sama, no sugar added, sweetened with Splenda teriyaki sauce. Guys, I buy this on a website called lowcarbcanada.ca. It's hilarious, but it's it's literally so good. It tastes just like teriyaki sauce. It's delicious. And honestly, I'm pretty lazy with it. I just fry up everything individually and then I pour this on top and that's the bowl. So that's been my go-to meal. It's so good. Mm, typically I would measure this, but we're just gonna. So this is love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's dinner, my friends.
All right, y'all, I'm about to go on my walk for the eve to go and get my steps in. Um, I recognize that I've been in the same, like it's fine to wear the same thing, but I have been in active wear all day. <laughs> Before I head out for my walk, I'm gonna have a sweet treat. Listen, Walmart has all the Atkins treats and they are so good. They actually are so good. Dan hates them. He thinks they're the most vile things on the planet. I love them. They have like a caramel cluster little bites. They have so many yummy things. The one that I'm kind of super into right now is the chocolate chip cheesecake dessert bar. These are so good. These are so good. And what I like about them is that they're super high fiber and I'm trying to, it's, it's something that I'm like focusing on. I'm trying to get lots of fiber into my body. And uh, like you can take a fiber supplement, you can take Metamucil, whatever. But if I can have like a dessert and have it be high fiber, I am down. I am down for that. So these little dessert bars, they look so unappetizing. It's honestly such a pile of like, I don't even know, there's a million ingredients in here. I just close my eyes and eat it. But look at the little, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just need to have something sweet after dinner, whatever that may be. It's a must for me. And then I'll have a little nighttime tea. And that pretty much wraps it up. That's my day. I hope that this was helpful for those of you who have been curious to know what my meal plan has looked like, what are some of the things that I've been meal prepping, whatever. I'm happy to continue to do these and like show you guys bits and vlogs, but it's pretty much gonna be like the same meals for a hot minute because I'm just loving the setup that I've got right now and it just, takes the thinking out of it. When I can just prepare this at the start of the week and I have it for the week, it just makes it easier and I can pack it to go with wherever I'm going and it just tastes delicious too. That's the biggest thing. So that is a look into my day, what I eat in a day and some of my meal prep, you guys. I hope that it was helpful. Thank you so much for being here and for watching as always and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!